Hi, welcome to Nikiti Workshop. My name is Nikisho. Today, I'm still in the process of setting up my new MacBook Pro to all the softwares that I use in the business. So since I'm installing everything and have to re-set up the, the equipment to the laptop, I figure I'd take this opportunity to go through how to connect your laser using Lightburn to run through an IP connection. Usually I use a USB port and connect it straight to the laptop, but since MacBook Pro only has two USB-C ports, the more I can use wirelessly or through the network without connecting to the laptop, the better it is. So it turned out to be a plus. I've been wanting to do it for a while and didn't force myself to do it, so now I have to do it. So it actually wasn't a bad setup. So I have a mesh system, a Samsung mesh that I bought years ago that I connect to my router, my internet router, and I placed one of the ports down here. So what I actually did, I already hooked up two of my printers to the network using the ethernet cable. I bought like an ethernet um, hub, which is powered. You use, um, connect, you plug it into an outlet and it actually has five, five. <laughs> it has five um, ethernet ports. So I connected my Sawgrass um, Submission printer to one and then I have a big Epson um, printer which I connect through the other one. So the Epson printer always gave me trouble with the Wi-Fi connection. I think something's bad with it. I do have warranty and I've been wanting to take it in to get fixed, but it's so heavy and it's not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal, but it's just annoying. But this is a workaround that I actually hook it up by ethernet. So I don't have any connection issues anymore because it's hardline through the mesh port via uh, ethernet hub. So I have the Solaris printer hooked up to the ethernet port, already hooked up the, the Epson printer like I said, and now I'm going to hook up my laser because it came with the port that you can either do um, the USB, it has um, another USB LAN, yeah it's a USB, straight to the PC and then it has another USB port which it says U-Disk but it also has an ethernet port. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So I'm gonna hook it up with the ethernet, which is good, cause then I'm not tied to being in the same area with the laser. I mean, we should be in the area in case anything goes wrong, but if for any reason, like I kick the ethernet, the USB port, I'm not losing any connections with the laser. So we're gonna go through the setup. I'm gonna do a few I'm screen recording to show you how it is in Lightburn and I'm gonna add in clips with the actual screen on the laser because you're gonna need that also so the laser that I purchased it was a Ryan 50 watt um, co2 laser which I bought through Amazon two years ago two years ago, two years ago yeah so it used a uh, RUID8 controller. I'll also show you in the picture what it is. Um, so if you have the same controller laser, you could probably do the same setup. This is a video on my setup. I figured it might help anyone who has a laser similar to mine. And if you wanted to connect through ether, ethernet port and not always have it hook up directly by USB to your laptop or your desktop, this is an option for you. Um, I think I might show how to do the USB to this walkthrough since we're there. Okay, thanks. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the mesh system that I use. It's the Samsung Smart Things. <laughs> so you can read it better. <laughs> um, Samsung Smart Things. So it comes with the power supply, and then we have the line in ethernet in and then the line out so because we're taking the data so we're using the line out so it goes out to the equipment for the ethernet so the main hub has it where the ethernet goes in because that's the primary hub 
And then it uses its own like Wi-Fi network to connect to or talk to the other hubs in the house. So this is gonna be one of the receivers. I have it in the basement. And then from here, I have the ethernet port going out and then into the mesh, not mesh, sorry, out and into the ethernet hub. Now this hub, like I said before, it has five ports. So one of these ports just have to be one of the in connectors and then it splits the signal across all the other ports. So like I said, it splits. So whatever goes in is gonna share that amount of speed across all five ports. So since these are printers and I'm not doing heavy data from it, the Wi-Fi is actually better. Well, it depends. <laughs> so in this case, it's fine for the situation that I have, um, that this is enough data for transmittal and um, sending and receiving data. So one of these are the in. I have one going to the sawgrass printer one's gonna go i think this one's gonna go to the laser and then one i think i made this one the end so this is the end and then this is gonna be to the my other epson printer so this is the the outlet and then i still have one port left for something else if i need hard line so i'm gonna start light burn i did install it already um i'm not gonna go through that whole process unless someone requests it and i'll do it um so I had added the laser before, but then I took it off because I want to walk through the tutorial with this being brand new, um, no devices attached in Lightburn. So we're gonna open Lightburn. So as you see pop up, we're gonna define my laser. I'm gonna do the first version, uh, if you use the USB port to connect it straight, um, we're gonna do that part first. In order to do it, you have to make sure um, your USB is connected and your machine is turned on so that it could find the laser. So let me do that process right now. So here the laser is off. So we're gonna turn it on. So I'm just gonna turn on just the electronics. I'm not gonna fire up the laser, the air blower, or the water pump, because we're just gonna do the electrical part of it to set it up. So now you see Mr. Screen on. This is the Ryuda. I'm probably saying it differently. So this is the Ryuda control for the laser that I have. And this is how it looks. You see I've been using it, so it's a bit worn. So now it's on. So here the laser is on. So now we're gonna do find my laser. It says be sure that your device is connected via USB port and then you're gonna click next. So let's go back right here. All right, so here we go. So now it picks up the laser you're gonna click on it and click add device so I think my laser the XY0 is in the rear left and then here it says you zero USB port 500 by 300 and then we do finish and then now you see this is a USB so we're gonna not do that yet so this is by USB when you connect it that's what you get and click OK so here you're gonna see the device listed that you just added now if you want to connect it by USB port um, to get the screen like you said it would pop up before if you already have a device added and you want to add another device, you click this device is right here. And then you see the same screen pops up. But now we want to do it by ethernet port. 
So you want to do create manually instead of find my laser. So by Ethernet port, you're going to do create manually and click that. And then you're going to search through the list of controllers that you have for your laser. So in my case, I'm using the router. I'm going to click on that and click next. Now here it says Ethernet or serial port. I did a serial already, so I need to do the Ethernet port. So we're going to do select Ethernet port, sorry, Ethernet, and then hit next. So now you have to get the IP address off of your controller. So I'm going to show you where you could get this information now. All right, sorry for the shakiness, I'm holding it. So this is a step of getting the IP address from your laser so you can put it into the software. So you're gonna press the ZU, and then you're gonna use the up and down. The side doesn't work, so you have to go up, down. You're gonna go all the way until you get to IP config. When you get there, you're gonna press enter. Now, it probably not too clear. Hold on. Actually, you turn off that light. And you cancel the numbers. But when you get to IP config, on this side, you're going to see a bunch of numbers in here. You're going to write down that number and then put it into your computer. Each IP address is unique to your house your router so this information you're going to write you're not going to change it unless you want to but in my case i'm not changing anything I already connected the ethernet port so it's picking up the ip address from that ethernet port so all i have to do is record the part that says ip address i don't need the gateway i just need the ip address to put into lightburn so you're going to enter your ip address Once you put that in, you're going to hit next. And then here, um, I like to rename it because remember I had another port that's the same Ryudo, but USB, I'm going to rename this Ethernet. And then mine is 300 by, 300 millimeters by, no, sorry. 500 millimeters by 300, but I don't like to max it out, so I'm gonna do 490 by 290 millimeters. And this is the um, your work area on your laser. And then it's the origin point, whatever your origin point is. And then now it's finished. So I did the Ryudo, the ethernet, version and then I'm going to hit finish. So now I have the two versions here, Ethernet and then the USB one and then I'm going to click OK. So whichever one I'm going to use, see if I click on device I have the two listed here. So right now it's on the USB one. So if I do, I'm going to do a random shape in here. Like I said, the laser isn't on. I just have um, the controls there. So if I hit frame, this is from the USB port. So the signal is getting to it. So now I want to switch this to, sorry, that's the USB port. I'm going to switch it to the ethernet and then I'm going to do the same frame outline. So you see the IP address matches up, so now the, it controls it. So that's how you connect your laser to the Ethernet port and through a USB port to your laptop or your desktop. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.